What is going on YouTube? This is Jim back with another video here to talk to you guys today about Rocket League Side Swipe. I'm really, really, really excited for this game. I was a huge fan of Rocket League when it first came out. I don't play it as much as I used to, I'm not going to lie, but I easily logged a thousand hours of this on my PlayStation 4. And before I get into today's video, that's right, that's right. So, so here's the deal. Um, Rocket League was really cool when it came out because it was a big ticket PlayStation Plus title, which injected a huge, huge audience into the game instantly. If you had PlayStation Plus, you had access to this game, everybody was playing it. It was such a novel concept. It was 3D Pong with cars. That's all it really was. And they started getting all these really smart partnerships. You know, Fortnite has really emulated the success largely, or maybe you could argue Rocket League emulated Fortnite's success. But they got a lot of partnerships. You could get the Batmobile. You could get the DeLorean. They started working all these deals to get all of these really cool cars in there. And a lot of it was unlockable naturally just by playing. They also added a tournament mode, then they started adding all these fun little arcade type modes where the ball was a square or a triangle or a hockey puck, three on three, two on two, ranked matches, whatever. So when I saw this tweet pop up just a short time ago, incoming Rocket League Sideswipe is coming to iOS and Android later this year. This all new game will bring the competitive car soccer gameplay you love to mobile devices with a unique arcade style action. When I saw that, I was like, yes. So I immediately clicked on it. And as you guys know, this link is in the description below. So if you wanna check it out, go down to that really cool description that I made and click on it and it'll take you right here. So uh, we're happy to announce Rocket League Sideswipe, a brand new standalone Rocket League experience built from the ground up for mobiles coming out this year. Now, this is gonna be an interesting experience because it's 2D and I'm gonna show you guys some of the gameplay here so you can check it out for yourselves. Um, Interestingly enough, it's still the very you know similar Rocket League aesthetic we had, but you'll notice that it's a 2D plane. It's not a 3D space. So unlike other Rocket Leagues where you're jumping in 3D space and you either track the ball or you have to do it on your own, this is going to be side scrolling only or side, which is why they call it side swipe, right? Um, I still think it will be fun and engaging. I still feel like there will be a lot of arcade-esque elements to it. Um, and as you see, as this gameplay continues just a smidge, you know, you still have the verticality of being able to kind of ramp up and hit the ball in the air. It's not too big. I feel like this is a much more pocket sized version. Obviously, this isn't the full port of the game. And honestly, I'm glad it's not because I think that should remain on the platforms it remains on already. It has a very, very, very active base, surprisingly enough, on PlayStation as well as on Steam now. Um, so I don't think they should touch with that formula and, and try to port it somewhere else, which they're not. They're going to keep it free to play, which I think is a smart idea. They're not doing anything dopey where they're only going to give it to iOS or only to Android initially. It sounds like it'll be available for everybody. And it's going to be free. It's going to be free to play. That's going to get your foot in the door to start understanding what this game is about. And more importantly, to take this on the go. Now, in today's world, really, in today's COVID world, a lot of us, at least me, we're not getting out a whole heck of a lot right now. But rest assured, the world will return to normal. And when it does, you're going to be looking for things to do. And this seems like something very simple to pick up and play. You have a couple quick minute match, have some fun, earn some cosmetics, play the zany modes that they have, and have a blast doing it. And the good thing is a lot of this hard work essentially has already been done as you're looking at these photos that are cycling through. Because... Rocket League already established itself as a phenomenal tournament ready game. The Rocket League tournament is just a blast to watch. These guys are just next level amazing. Um, it also established itself because you already have all these unlocks. You already have the uh, effects done. You already have the different balls done. You already have the different car skins and sound effects and different aesthetics that go into the game. You can just port over directly. Now, it will be interesting to see, and I suspect if I know Psyonix, they're gonna figure out a way to tie the accounts together just like they've already done now. And I suspect you're gonna be able to take some of your progress from your mobile purchases and bring it to the main game and vice versa. I could be totally wrong. I think this would be a smart move. 
this really this really does sing into the play anywhere where you can start hey i bought a really cool skin we'll take it with you on the road you're you know that impulse buy when you're sitting there waiting for the bus or you got a couple minute lunch break at work like oh that's really cool they got a sale on blah 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 i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it you go home and take it there so I'll be really curious to see how this all pans out. But for now, just know that it exists and know that I am excited. Hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.